Hi, this is Jason at Bookkeep. I'm going to show you how to separate Shopify into multiple journal entries by channel. We call it cloning. Um, you have one connection to Shopify, but if you want to break it by channels, you click the clone button, hit OK, and then you'll end up with a new line here. Then you go to the mapping, and then you add the channel that you want to um, filter. So here we're going to say we just want the point of sale channel. Now the mapping will be the same but you can choose different uh, chart of accounts if you want to um, as well as if you want to have a different class potentially you have the ability to do that as well. Uh, you can also do it on the cost of goods sold entry as well and you would have to go point, put point of sale in there as well um, if you're using that otherwise, if, otherwise turn it off if you're not using it. Uh, this one here um, is ready. You just hit save. Whatever uh, channels that you put into this connection, uh, which is shown here, will, it'll say point of sale. If there's multiples, uh, you can have them here. Those will be excluded from your main posting. So if this is your e-commerce and you want to take out your point of sale, you clone it and add it to a new line and map it. You can make multiple clones. So I can add another clone um, if I want to just separate out uh, into a separate journal entry, say uh, we can do um, your Facebook sales or your Instagram sales if you want, or I have currently have uh, the buy button set up here. Um, so if I wanted to just separate out my buy button, it would then have its own journal entry um, with its own potential mapping could be separate um, and its own class and the buy button will then be removed from the main entry up here, which would just be your e-commerce uh, in this situation. Uh, if you want to delete those channels uh, and just have it roll back into the main posting, you can just delete them like that. If you have any questions, uh, you can email us at support at bookkeep.com or chat with us in the chat bubble at the bottom right.